everybody. Uh, in honor of uh, Geek Week, I decided to put up one more uh, Samplitude 11 uh, video tutorial on a noise reduction. There are several different offerings that Samplitude has available for noise reduction. Uh, I'm going to cover one that I feel would probably be the most popular, and that is to de-click and de-crackle your LPs. And uh, I know that there's probably not many people that have records, but if you go to like garage sales and things like that, you can find records very cheap. Like I just picked up one, a Rogers and Hammerstein, Oklahoma, and I got home and it has a lot of clicks and pops and things like that in it. So I loaded it into Samplitude 11, and this is what it looks like. These are all the songs for Oklahoma. And I'm picking out the theme song for Oklahoma at the end here and to show you what it sounds like without any noise reduction. <laughs> I'm sweeping down the plain And the waving wheat Can sure smell sweet When the wind comes right behind the rain Okay, you've got a taste for that A lot of pops in there Now, in order to clean that up And make it sound much better What we do is we're going to go uh, Over here to where it says PL And it has no effect Click on the arrow it says restoration go over here and go to declicker decrackler click on that a window opens up it gives you a uh, sensitivity and mix entries with faders a starting setting in the uh, declicker will bring this up to uh, 55% and over here, we'll put it at maybe just 10 dB. That should be adequate. What you want to do is you want to run the declicker a little bit hotter than the decrackler. So over here on the decrackler, we'll put that up to, uh, let's say, just 10 over here. If you, you start becoming too aggressive, see... The way this program works, it's an alg algorithm that works on the transient response of what it sees. Being that clicks and pops and things are very quick, it puts it in a realm that's separate from the music. If you get too aggressive, it starts cutting off the attack of the vocals and some of the instruments. So we want to stay below that threshold and fly under the radar and so forth. So it just takes out the noise and leaves the music. So put this on 10, and uh, the mix will put maybe at 20, 20 dB. All right. Now let's play the same thing with Denoise Program. <laughs> I'm sweeping down the plain And the waving wheat Can sure smell sweet When the wind comes right behind the rain oh. Okay, there's a significant improvement And as you can see The red marks here Are from the declicker All the declicks that it takes out All the clicks that it takes out And on the bottom in the blue is the crackles that it removes. Now you can get more aggressive on this and, and take out more of the noise by increasing the sensitivity over here on the declicker. Let's say if we bring it up to 90%, uh, let's play that again. <laughs> I'm sweeping down the plain And the waving wheat Can sure smell sweet When the wind comes right behind the rain oh. Okay, 
But if you get too aggressive, it'll start cutting into the music, and you don't want it to do that. So I, I'd put it at a more conservative settings. It's doing the job, and uh, it allows all the music to come through and eliminates like 90% of all the pops and clicks and, and noise that's coming through. Well, that's about it for the uh, declicker, decrackler, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's in Sampletude 11. Thanks for watching.